In this video, I am going to explain to you about calls in advance. What does this mean? As the name itself suggests, calls in advance. So what may happen at times is, suppose you made an entry for first call of rupees 10 on 10,000 shares. And then there was a second call of rupees 5. Okay. So ideally for the first call you were supposed to receive rupees 100,000. And for the second one you had to receive 50,000. Now when the first call came in and it became due, you made an entry. Share first call account debit 100,000 to share capital account. The reasoning and everything we have already discussed so I am not getting into why this entry should come. Please refer to the previous videos for the reasoning. Now what happened was that one gentleman Mr. X who was subscribing to 2000 shares decided that instead of 10 rupees per share I will pay both the first and the second call. So he paid at the rate of 15 per share. <coughs> so what happened was that there was instead of paying 10 he paid 15 per share 5 rupees towards the second call. So in such situations what do you need to know? You first need to know what is the excess amount paid. So excess amount is he paid 5 rupees per share extra into 2000 which is the extra per share into number of shares. So he paid rupees 10,000 rupees extra. Right? So when you receive the fund, what will be the entry you will make? Of course, you receive the money, so you debit your bank account. By what number? 1 lakh was due to you and 10,000 he paid additionally. So the total amount that you got was 1 lakh 100,000 plus 10,000. Now out of this number, share first call was 1 lakh rupees. So you credit share first call by 100,000 and the next one is what is this on which you have received 10,000 on what account did you receive this account you received it as calls in advance calls in advance is basically what something money that you have received in advance from a person so it's a liability And this liability is increasing. So increase in liability has to be credited and this is credited. Okay. Now finally when you make the second call what will you do? At that time you will debit share second call account. So it's at the rate of 5 rupees on 2000 shares debit right 5 rupees on 10,000 shares sorry 50,000 to share capital now assuming the balance people paid up their entire money the entry will be what bank account debit now what will be the amount in this I mean you were supposed to receive 50,000 of which 10,000 you've already received so 50,000 minus 10,000 okay so 40,000 comes in here you will debit calls in advance because these calls in advance are no longer there these have actually become share capital money so the liability is reducing because now the money is actually due from him so you debit reduction in liability is, is debited 
to share second call 50,000 right so that's how you basically do the entries for calls in advance